Hey everyone, Emma here from Bless It Forward. Um, I thought I would enjoy um, just doing another video um, of me doing one of my journaling entries as I go along doing it so I can obviously share it with you and hopefully you'll be encouraged and inspired as well by what I share. And um, so let's have a look at what I'm going to be doing today for one of my entries. Um, today I am doing an entry using this lovely napkin I got in some happy mail from a lovely lady called Roberta in um, our Bless It Forward Bible Journaling community. Um, and the first thing I thought of when I saw it was um, the verse 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 was for we walk by faith not by sight so I am going to be adding it into my interleavered Bible um, and I love my interleavered Bible I, I got it for Christmas and um, so I've not done much in it yet but I'm someone who doesn't like um, covering up the words in my journaling so I asked my husband and my children to get it for me for um, Christmas um, so I can enjoy doing like the napkin journaling in it. So here's one um, I already did. Obviously, hopefully you can see, because um, obviously I, I always explain I've, I've not got any special equipment. Um, I'm just using my iPhone and I'm up my kitchen table. And here is another one I did. So obviously I really love it because it's a really nice big size Bible. And obviously every other page is, you know, like blank for doing the journaling on and um, obviously I don't have to worry about covering up the words with the napkins I can just enjoy placing them in I think I've done one more since I've had it for Christmas let's see if you can see that one so yes I am going to enjoy doing a napkin entry so hopefully um, as you follow along, um, I will share some tips as well. I may go quiet um, because I am concentrating. Um, I will put my worship music on in the background. Um, hopefully I will try not to sing too loud to it, but I do like a good sing song. If you've watched some of my videos before, you know. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Let's press play. Um, and the music I'm listening to is um, some music I found on YouTube called Worship Mob and um, and I just really love the melodies they've created with different worship songs so that's what I'm listening to right now um, and I actually went on iTunes and downloaded or not downloaded brought a load of their songs because I just love them um, and they they last for quite a while as well so you can really get into it so right taking my napkin um, obviously a napkin comes with four panels as you can see and I've said I'm only wanting to use one panel so I am just going to cut that one panel out and then um, if you're like me and you like swapping napkins um, you can do single panel napkin swaps with people if there's some people out there who are interested in doing single panel swaps so you will find that you will have four panels you can um, three spare panels you can cut out and enjoy swapping with other people so I'm just going to put them to the side obviously when you come to stick a napkin into your Bible um, you need to peel the layers off the plies they're called so I'm just going to carefully and gently pull the ply off the back and you will normally find there are three plies so you might have to find you need to do it again obviously being very obviously very careful so I don't rip the napkin nice and gentle just discard them out my way and um, so obviously I'm going to stick the napkin on here as you may have guessed and um, but first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out the wreath shape that is for the napkin like so and you may find like you there's other napkins out there um, 
that have words on and you might just want to cut them out. Like the other day I did an entry for one of our Celebrate Love um, reading verses and I cut the words love out of a napkin and I just stuck down the letters for that. We'll just check how that fits and um, also if you want a little tip you may be thinking oh my bible looks quite level um, while I'm journaling what I have done is is I'm using a box this is actually my speaker box and um, to just level out and give me a, an even surface so I'm not bent down and the books not all you know at an odd angle I prop it up so it's level so I think that will fit nicely and obviously it might just hang over a little bit and if it does I will just cut that off at the end and I can show you then. Right, so to put your napkin into your um, Bible you use some gesso. I am using the Diana Wakely clear gesso. Obviously you can buy many different sorts of gesso. Um, you can buy it from your craft stores, you can buy it from Amazon, eBay. Just make sure if you, whatever you buy, it's clear gesso. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gesso this whole page. And I like to just use a paintbrush to add my gesso into my Bibles. Um, people use different things some people use a credit card some people will use a sponge I just use a paintbrush so, and I put a nice layer on like so all over the page So that's that done and then what you do is take your napkin and place it where you want it to go on your page I think about there and just pat it down gently and then what you do is then again taking your gesso just obviously go over the napkin I haven't done many napkin entries, so I'm not an expert at this, so it will mostly go wrinkly. Um, but I love the napkin entries. Hopefully, seeing that I'm, you know, new at doing it and it, you know, will be inspiring to you to try and to not be scared to give it a good, you know, a go. There we go. And just cover it in gesso. And slowly it smooths out and sticks in your Bible. Like so. And that is the napkin in my Bible. Now as I'm getting close to the edge, I'm just going to put my plastic mat underneath just so I can brush without touching any of the other pages. I mean, as you're doing it, you could have your plastic mat underneath to start with. It's completely up to you. I, I don't, I tend just to use it for the edges like that. And I am happy with that. That is in nice. It's got a few crinkles in that you might see, but I, I quite like the crinkles. It gives it an extra added effect. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take my hair dryer and I'm just going to dry the page. It might take a few minutes or so because we need to give it a good dry. And I just use my everyday hair dryer on a low heat and give it a good, good dry.
and just I just keep touching it from time to time to see how it's drying. I think you might. Super. So I am quite happy with that. I think that's dry enough. Yep. And obviously it's a little bit um, damp still, but obviously I don't want to keep you too long for the video. Um, I am now going to add in um, some text, which I will show you, and um, to go with the verse I'm doing for. And what I have done is obviously I've just typed out some things on the computer and I've printed them off and I am going to trace them into the design. So pop that underneath there like that. And I'm going to just trace it in. And I am going to use um, a watercolored pencil. I've tried to find a color to sort of match these ready colors here. I'm using a crimson red. So to trace the Um, what I do do sometimes is I do use a light box. I can just see the text um, through this page, but I do sometimes use a light box as well if it's a little bit difficult to see the text through to trace. Today I think I'm okay. It's coming along nicely, isn't it? Now let me just... There we go.
There we go, so that's that bit in. So I'm just going to take that bit out and then I am going to add in the bottom bit now that I want to put. Lord, how amazing. This one thing remains. You'll never fail, never give up. Not only How amazing is God's love that it never ever runs out and it never gives up on us. Amen, hey? Amen. Amen. Right, so that is the text I wanted adding in um, done. So obviously I've put walk by faith, not by sight um, to go with the Bible verse. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take um, a little paintbrush and I'm just going to blend in the watercoloured pencils so it doesn't look too streaky um, and obviously you don't want a brush that's going to be too wet just enough to blend it in a bit like so Over that a little bit and tidy it up. And then obviously that just takes some of the streakiness away from where obviously it's got the gesso underneath As you see, I didn't make my brush too wet and it's lasted the whole lot of that tax. So you don't need a very wet brush at all. And I'm happy with that. I think that looks really nice. So let's do the bottom bit.
Just need to wet my brush again. It's a little bit more words. There we go. So that's that all done. So this is the journaling entry done for what I want to do for today on this one. I'm really happy with that I like the way it looks and um, what I will just do is as well when I add in a napkin that is from um, somebody else um, I always add their name into the entry so I will just have to angle the page a bit so I'm going to write the where it is from so it's to Corinthians five verse seven and then what I do is under here I just put napkin from and then I add the lady's name which is Roberta lovely lady there we go and I will just put her surname initial H um, so there we go that is my finished entry using the faith napkin um, as I say hopefully it will encourage and inspire those who have maybe not done a napkin entry yet um, to see that it's quite easy to do and um, and obviously um, yes hopefully just inspired and encouraged thank you for joining me um, obviously if you're not part watching this video and you're not part of our Bless It Forward community you're very welcome to look us up and um, come and join us I will add in the links to where you can find us in the description for the video um, so I will say goodbye now and God bless thank you for joining me everybody